Tell me, Witcher. You don't believe in destiny. Or the lesser evil. What do you believe in? What is a Witcher? White hair. Big old loner. Two very, very scary looking swords. I know who you are. A Witcher is... A mutant, and their trade in particular is monster hunting. The Butcher of Blaviken! You are almost universally hated by every species on the continent. It's unlikely you're going to have a cheery personality, but Geralt himself, despite the stony exterior, is actually quite good been very capable of doing bad things. Geralt isn't simply a white knight. He isn't simply a harsh monster hunter. He's an incredible blend of the two. The rumors about witches are that they don't have emotions. You take no prisoners. So I hear. And that is perpetuated by them. Sometimes there's monsters. Sometimes there's money. Rarely both. When they're created, they undergo alchemical trials, which is a combination of elixirs and magic, which have very aggressive effects on their bodies. This allows them to take various potions. These potions enhance them in various and different ways. The signs that witches cast, they are basic magic, but very, very effective. You often see this very dry humor come through, which is one of the more charming aspects of Geralt. You smell of death and destiny. It's onion. Right, yeah. Destiny is one of the major themes which is a force which is controlling him and indeed the world around him. Geralt aggravates destiny. He doesn't believe in it. But it turns out there may be a little more to it. Find her. But Geralt's greatest strength is his capacity to still love despite having been treated incredibly harshly. Despite what he says, he still believes in the goodness of people. And you couple that with incredible sword skills, speed, agility, and endurance, then you have an interesting character. your first lesson. As in life, it is impossible always to be fully prepared for battle. Keep your sword close and keep moving. There's something special about this girl. She's very loyal to the people that she loves. She's built a heart from it, but just hasn't had any experience in the real world. All she's known was a sheltered life as a princess and this very secure network of people looking after her. At least you didn't shit your kex. She's very relentless, very stubborn, and she's also very naive. I think she just wants to make sure that she doesn't get trapped in that box. Would you honor me with the dance? Martin. She'd love to. The typical conforming life of a princess. She wants to kind of break free from that but she suddenly gets dropped in a very brutal world. People are after her does become something very scary. Lesson number two, know when it's time to stop moving. She loses everybody she's known within one night. A huge theme in The Witcher is the loss of family and the search for family. If that's the last words that her grandmother have said to her, it means a great deal, and I think that's what keeps her determined to continue on. That's all she's got left to cling on to. It does mean a lot to her, but she doesn't quite know yet what it means. Being a princess doesn't matter anymore. She just doesn't know where to begin. Be careful, child. The 
isn't safe if you're alone. And it's the same as every other place. 